to help me tonight is none other than Steve Perillo of Perillo Tours. I'm sure you've all heard of that. Thank you. Thank and, you very much, and, Marianne. And Steve, I figured that since you do tours of Italy, you must know about Italian food. I eat it every day, but... Uh -huh. uh... <laughs> okay, well today you're going to get to cook with me a special recipe that comes from Sicily, I, because I know there are a lot of Sicilians out there, right? There you are. I'm half Sicilian too, by the way. Half Neapolitan, half Sicilian, and you are? I'm Neapolitan, of course. You are totally Neapolitan. Okay, because I'm half Sicilian, I thought that we would do a classic dish from Bronte. Anybody here from Bronte, Sicily? Anybody? Because if you were, you would say, ah, ah, the town of pistachio nuts. Yes, because if you went to Bronte every year, they have a huge sagra. Sagra is a festival like this, and it's all about the pistachio nut. So tonight we're going to make a pistachio and mint pesto for tuna and capers with linguine. All right, so there is our pasta. And now are you, you gotta move that around. Oh, sorry about that. Get that, move, move that around. I'm trying my best, right, I'm on, gonna. Because we've got other things to do here. I can teach you how to make hot dogs, you know. All right, so, I didn't even hear that, okay. <laughs> now we add some of this pesto, folks. We're gonna give that now the pasta. Oh boy. And now you've got to mix that all around. And while you're doing that... Can I use this gizmo to move it around? You can use that gizmo if you want, or you can flip it. And then you can add some of that fresh mint as a uh. garnish from whence you started. And that's how you make the linguine with the mint pesto. So let's tell everybody what you made today. I made Marianne's pistachio pesto sauce. With mint. With mint. And it looks so good, and I can't wait to try it. And remember, we used fresh mint, fresh garlic. And fresh tuna, well, well Sicilian no, tuna. We used, we used Italian chunk tuna in olive oil in a jar. Very important. Which makes a big difference as to how that dish tastes. And then we gave it some capers and a little bit of hot red pepper, some cherry tomatoes. A very big surprise, the cherry tomatoes. And it's a typical Sicilian dish from the town of Bronte, Sicily. Well, Steve, I think you did a great job. You and I deserve a chin chin. Chin chin. And until I see you nella cucina again, I'm Mariana Spazito. And I'm Steve Perillo. Ciao. Ciao.